okay through open real we'll see kind of uh, day and light scenario how day and light happens okay so we can see sun and earth is receiving light from the sun other side of the earth is little darker and we can see the moon okay so this is the scenario and earth rotates around sun and if earth rotates then we can see that light is towards the sun now we are at back side so there is no light it is darker side on the moon and earth both and then earth is receiving the light okay now earth rotates on its own axis so if i place a man on the earth then he would rotate so earth rotates red is a person who is standing on the earth so earth rotates on its own axis also and earth rotates around the sun also okay so this is plain scenario now earth is not actually this way but anyway we will see the kind of lighting scenario first okay so i'll make it like to receive more light okay so this is better now a person is in evening condition okay now if earth rotates then this is night and this is morning on that side this is noon and again evening so he is entering into night age. so if earth moves then day and night happens so that is the scenario okay so it is based on hours so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so now person should be seeing kind of uh, uh morning so we'll try to show that okay so i'll rotate it so that it should be seen i am rotating full solar system okay to show the other side of the earth okay so this is okay so this is other side of the earth now i can zoom okay so now the person is seeing morning okay and now if earth rotates then he is moving towards noon time and this is noon and he is going in evening time and this is full night and again morning okay so this is the way uh, day and night uh, happens okay so earth is not uh, actually this way okay so we will draw the full fledged earth okay so now we have earth so earth has a kind of it is tilted earth is not naturally the way we showed just to show the day and night earth is like this tilted and 
just a fictitious kind of uh, one line we have drawn. Earth is like this. It is tilted. Okay. And means fortunately, unfortunately, but this is the truth. Okay. So, if it is tilted, then this is the actual scenario. And now, kind of, we can rotate the earth. And same way, uh, day and night happens. So, this is a, it is entering into night, full night, morning, okay, full noon, and evening like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is the morning time. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, so this is noon time. So, we can show the noon time. Okay, so I mean I can rotate the solar system. Okay, so can we see now? This is noon time for the kind of person. It is <laughs> really noon time. Okay. Now, person is facing full sun. This is noon time for the person. Okay? Everyone is here. Moon is here, sun is here, earth is here. They are located in a fashion that noon time, sometimes we don't, don't see the moon at all. Okay? Now, anyway, so moon kind of, uh, that we will see later. Now, person is free to move. And it is evening time and then night and then morning. So morning he is kind of, uh, he is seeing the sun little bit and then it is coming to date, full day time. Okay. And then evening and night. Okay. So, this is the kind of the way day and night happens on earth. Okay, now we will see little bit about uh, how uh, we see kind of uh, many seasons like winter and summer. Okay. So, I think we can bring it back so that it will be clear. Okay. Now, can we see it is tilted? And if it is tilted, then kind of north globe is facing the sun. If north globe is facing the sun, okay, then it is receiving more light and the south globe like Australia and southern part of Africa and South America, southern part of Africa, okay, Antarctica, it is literally, if we, <laughs> if we see Antarctica, it is all around it is kind of night and if I see the north globe, I mean, the pole, north pole, it is 24 hour, it is sunlight. Okay. So, this is kind of a summer in the north globe. Okay. Now, we will see how earth rotates, so the season happens.
now earth would rotate okay keeping the axis intact okay now at this situation i'll try to make it as best as possible because the way we think doesn't happen this but anyway let it rotate okay now okay so i'll kind of i'll zoom it now the southern part of the earth is receiving more light okay the southern part of the earth it is receiving more light and if earth rotates on okay we can see that southern part that is antarctica it is receiving light 24 hours and northern part is night 24 hours means that polar part okay and the southern part of the earth like south america and then australia southern part of africa and antarctica so it's summer time okay so after one one after six months when earth went on other side of the sun then southern part is receiving more light and northern part top is receiving literally no light so with there is uh, means 24 hour it is dark and southern part if i go the tip then 24 hour it is light so southern part is summer and northern part is winter so this is a kind of anatomy of uh, uh, it is like uh, season is changing from winter to summer okay so i rotate the earth now again okay now okay so earth probably how i can show it so i'll make better rotation i believe this should be okay okay problem is earth cannot be rotated otherwise okay i cannot press some some key that i can undo it so it will rotate in only one fashion okay now it went on other side now we can see that both are kind of are receiving light okay so this is kind of uh, march time and i believe september time okay so but when both ends are kind of uh, receiving equal light and day and night is kind of uh, equal okay so this person is standing on the earth he is happy okay so uh, this is the kind of uh, scenario of uh, okay so this is the kind of a scenario of earth now at this moment also it is same okay so this is probably september and this is uh, kind of uh, okay so this is uh, 
probably so th that was march so if this is kind of a june time frame and this is september and this is december and this is march okay so this is how uh, season changes and day and night so that we'll see so later we'll see kind of mr moon's effect how it changes the uh, scenario okay so we'll continue on uh, moon's moon rotation okay so okay so moon kind of uh, if we see moon moon rotates around earth and okay so moon rotates around sun in a way uh, around earth in a way that the same face is visible and it takes around 28 days to rotate around the sun so if i see kind of uh, the path of the moon i mean i can rotate the little bit and we can have the path actually i hope it is visible so okay so moon takes a path and if i kind of uh, okay so it takes 28 days so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21234567 so it takes a uh, complete 28 days to revolve around uh, earth okay so what is the kind of uh, idea behind the moon so moon is not uh, as simple as any other planet it's a satellite of earth and moon shows different faces different face on different days so that is the idea now if i if we see close watch on the earth okay so a person on earth like earth kind of uh, rotates on its own axis the way we say and it is tilted okay so this is evening for the person now when he is uh, Uh, no no when it is evening time he cannot see the moon like it is 6 o'clock in the evening now suppose that the moon is uh, when evening happens okay when evening happens at that time moon is here in front of the sun okay moon is here okay so moon is here i can rotate one more what a person would see about moon okay so probably we can rotate the kind of the complete
Okay. I think it's clear now. Now, a person, okay, so this is the person, okay, now this person, I believe I can make it, anyway, I think it's visible, and this person is seeing the sun in the evening, and he is seeing black spot on the moon, means he is not seeing the moon, <laughs> Okay, so that is the scenario. So person is not able to see the moon at all. So it's a moonless night. Okay, if moon is kind of uh, in front, uh, in between uh, earth and sun, then it is moonless night. If it is exactly between, okay, then it is kind of uh, solar eclipse because the people on the earth, they completely see kind of... Uh, earth in front of moon okay so that is the scenario come back okay so this is kind of a no moon night now Now we would happily rotate the moon. Okay. Okay. If this is the situation, now from no moon night, so this is kind of uh, uh, for that person, it is, uh, I believe we have rotated, so I, I can reinitialize it too much and I will change that guy also. Okay, so this person will have shininess. So it should be complete, complete shininess. So we'll set it to kind of material shininess equal to minus one. Okay, so it would shine irrespective of anything. Okay, so it is full red now. Okay, so now little bit tilt we made and now we will show this line. Okay, so now Okay, so what about this situation? Now the person again, he is, it is kind of in the evening. Now it is seeing the full moon. Means if I, okay, so sun is on one side and other side is moon. Full, full light is falling on moon. Full light, okay. So, probably I can rotate uh, complete in other way. Can we see how, a, how the person, this is red spot, this is the person and how the person is seeing the moon. So, this is full, full moon. Okay. Now, Earth is rotating. Now, as night is kind of, now it is midnight. Now he is seeing the moon on his head. Okay, top. Now, okay, so this is like uh, morning and still he is seeing the moon. Now he cannot see the moon. Okay, so I mean I can rotate completely. 
now it is morning time and so it is little noon time so he cannot see okay okay now moon is completely bird and he is only seeing the sun and his sun so moon where the moon is so that is the main thing okay so i think we rotated it completely so rotate it again okay so we will start with the kind of uh, earth movement and this is evening and person is seeing the full moon okay now in evening okay so person is not able to see the moon at all okay so these are moonless night now it is third day after the full moon now night now now night is growing and now he can see the moon okay okay so probably it's possible now okay so he can see the moon i think we are on other side okay how i can show like okay so person can see moon okay now if earth rotates it is full night he is seeing the moon even it is morning he is seeing the moon okay up to some 7 o'clock 8 o'clock he is able to see the moon okay so this is how kind of uh, uh, a scenario happens okay so moon movement i'll summarize moon has its own trajectory the way we are seeing and when moon full light is falling on the moon then it is kind of called full day full moon night and this way now a person in the evening time he cannot see the moon okay so he can see the moon only when it is kind of uh, midnight then only he can see the moon okay now if okay now if moon is here then probably kind of post midnight he can see the moon okay and if moon crosses okay kind of this is the if this is the scenario then person would see moon okay okay so probably person can see moon okay little bit before the evening and then he can see but in the morning time he cannot see the moon okay so this is kind of analogy of the moon so so this is first day second day third this is seventh day and this is full moon okay and then this is no moon so this is the moon in all
okay so if this is a kind of uh, if moon is uh, here okay and okay so in this situation here only person can see the moon so if moon is kind of on seventh day uh, it is post kind of uh, noon he can see the moon okay and evening when it is evening he is seeing the moon on his head and at midnight post midnight he cannot see the moon okay so this is about moon earth rotation okay so earth also rotates along the sun so taking the moon okay so earth is moving earth is rotating on its own axis and then moon is rotating around earth okay and earth is rotating around sun taking the moon okay so we are talking about analogy like when we see in the sky uh, and we try to find out uh, mercury and venus and in evening they can be seen in the uh, waist only and uh, it can be seen that they come up to a distance and they, they go down okay they never come on the head okay so that is the scenario so how it happens so that we'll see okay so uh, finally we have kind of rings so we can show the rings okay so uh, i think uh, it's uh, like uh, we can understand this okay so this is earth this is venus and this is mercury okay now mercury kind of revolves around the sun and it is the nearest okay like that uh, this also venus also revolves around the sun okay earth anyway it revolves around the sun so this is the a uh, three scenario what we are trying to talk about now is okay so red is the kind of uh, position of the person who is standing on earth okay now okay i think this is pretty clear okay now this is evening time so sub so the red red we have a kind of a placed this red mark so person is standing on earth and somehow we have rotated the solar system and it is evening time and in evening time a person sees a very bright star it comes up okay it never comes on it, its head then it goes down okay okay 
okay so i think this is better so we can remove this okay so now this is the red color the person is standing on earth okay and he is seeing one star very bright star comes up and it goes down okay then he cannot see that a star at all in the evening after few months again that a star comes up and that a star goes down okay same story happens with the mercury okay so when he is standing in the evening towards sun this is which one star comes up little less distance in height and goes down after few months it comes up and is goes down okay so this proof where it never comes on the head so what i am trying to say is okay if this is the person then it is this direction is its head okay if that is the head venus never comes on top of his head, its head okay it looks just above little bit and it goes down same story with mercury it never comes on its head it come up and go down okay so the answer is straight forward they are near to sun that's why they never come on head okay probably next session we will show the kind of mars and jupiter and probably saturn okay at least this much is visible and they come on the head now this is evening time so evening time when this so when this come on head okay when it comes on a head okay and it sees going down where it goes okay so it is on other side now okay so now there will be kind of uh, morning on the earth earth is rotating we can see now that person is in situation of sunrise it went down okay now we can rotate the kind of a full earth full solar system now this is morning for him that person okay when it is morning for him okay now venus repeat same story okay so mr venus is repeating same story so now when when venus is on other side when it goes down like here in the morning he is seeing one star very bright and it comes up and it goes down 
like that mercury comes up and is cooled down so this is sunrise condition okay and what we showed now now we are rotating the earth and now this is this is evening for the person okay now now it is down we are showing down in the evening okay so it is down and it is evening now he is seeing mercury is coming to the surface and vanishing after few months then again mercury is coming okay from surface going up in the sky so this is we are showing other way and then it is coming to horizontal and then it is going other side so other side if mercury goes then that person would see if earth rotates and this is morning okay so kind of now this is evening view and after some time in the morning he can start seeing the venus also okay now venus is cannot be seen in the morning now okay so uh in the evening he can see uh no venus okay so now if venus went to that side then after 12 hours kind of when earth rotates and this is morning now he can see the venus okay so this is the analogy of uh, uh mercury and venus and the reason we cannot we see them never come on our head and they come up they go down and they vanish but if we get up in the morning and it goes down then we can see on other side okay so this is the we show the path probably we don't want this path okay so this is the rotation path for and person if this is kind of evening for the person then he is able to see only mercury not the venus and in the morning he can see venus but not the mercury okay so this is the idea okay so it can be seen from the bare eye uh in evening in west direction and the morning in the east direction when sun rises okay so idea is that uh, in solar system can be seen like we have seen uh, many kind of uh, uh, images where someone standing on moon and he can see kind of earth moving up okay so i don't have that kind of uh, uh, high density mars image but whatever i have that will show it okay so we have made so in our software like uh,
okay so there is sun and moon and moon contains earth so that we can see the a kind of uh, reverse moment and in earth dot py so kind of uh, will make the angle of rotation as 0.5 so it will be kind of slow okay so try for the best if we can kind of uh, simulate okay so we have moon and earth in this fashion this is what we have drawn and now it's like in open gl we can draw anything what we want okay so this is how it is and then we can scale the moon and earth okay and we can kind of uh, we can bring it down okay so moon kind of we can make it uh, non lightable so moon is away from the lighting model and we can see the moon now we can kind of uh, increase it or this is what the monitor is and then now we can kind of uh, rotate the earth okay so can we see like earth that is coming out okay so okay so there will be feeling like someone is kind of standing on the on moon and then how he would see earth coming up okay so we can kind of scale the moon more even more i think this much is enough okay and we can kind of little bit we can scale the earth okay now uh earth can move on its own axis the way it moves and earth is anyway it is tilted so it's completely all right and whatever we are rotating it takes around 24 hours to make one rotation and whereas in 24 hour a kind of uh, moon rotates uh, i believe 360 by 28 so that will come to around 20 12. some angle so that much it rotates so kind of at any moment uh, earth uh, uh, kind of uh, if we feel that uh, earth is stationary and moon is moving so instead of uh, moon moving so we can make like uh, earth moving okay so from the surface of moon someone someone would see uh, this scenario okay so this is how if someone is standing on a uh, moon surface okay then he would see that earth is coming like this
okay so through open dl we can possibly we can do whatever we want so one more time probably one more time we can kind of scale the moon okay okay so from the kind of uh, moon surface okay so probably we can kind of little bit we can make it down okay so from moon surface okay so if i bring the okay and where he can see the earth rotating is other side of the earth okay so we will see now in the open gl uh, atomic structure so uh right an atom has kind of uh, it has electron and electron revolves around the uh, nucleus and nucleus primarily it consists of uh, proton and neutron so they are packed in nucleus and they have some kind of uh, positive charge and electron consists negative charge and it revolves around the nucleus so that is the kind of grammar so that is kind of the architecture of an atom so can we kind of emulate simulate okay the way atom works so that is the concept okay so uh, we have atom we have uh, a nucleus uh, occupied we can see the nucleus occupied Okay, so this is nucleus kind of. Uh, 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 this is the nucleus. Okay, it has one is pro. Uh, okay, neutron, and one is kind of proton. So this is the nucleus. So we have nucleus dot object. 
and we have set uh, specular as 0 0.4, 0 0.4, shine as 20. Okay, and we have a scale it to 0.6, so it will be that big only. And here we have at the center we have one light source. Otherwise we have a ring. Okay, so we'll scale it a ring little bit. Okay, so S one point two five. Okay, and we transformed ninety degree. And okay, so we can see first without transformation. That's it. And then we have uh, four light sources and one at the center. Five light sources we have made. And now we have just uh, the previous the solar system name is still uh, sun and moon so we can kind of uh, okay so probably i can just uh, i mean the axis and okay so probably i can comment it so we don't want uh, any electron now Okay, and everything is commented. So, so we'll see how it looks. we have placed uh, two in z direction and two in x direction and we have set uh, a specular and shininess so what is the status so it is 6 ok so this is how it is now we are displaying x y and z coordinate so uh, red being x and green being being y and blue being being z okay so this is how it is so proton and neutron and then uh, we have one circle around it okay we can <laughs> rotate the place also but anyway i believe it will not be the actual case Okay, so this is how it is. Now we will add uh, electron to it. Okay, now first we will kind of transform the circle around it. So we may place a kind of uh, letter will place, not required right now. And now we will do fixed transformation. So 90 degree uh, on y axis. So uh, y axis, when we see the graph, then it is in uh, x, y plane, whatever we see. Okay. And then now we will rotate uh, along y axis and then followed by along z axis and we will make it a little bigger. So we will see the effect. Okay, it is bigger. Can we see it is rotated now? Okay, so, so Mr. the circle is not on any of the axis, probably we can rotate other things. Okay. So, it is not lying on any of the axis. It is clear now. It is more clear now. It is along y axis, okay, and uh, from red it is 30 degree. So, this is what it is uh, done. Okay, I mean, we can tilt the y degree, it is not that easy. 
So, this is how it is. Now we have uh, electron path and that is kind of uh, uh, 30 degrees from the x axis. Okay, now we can add the electron. So, it is still in the name of the moon. And so, what we are doing is local axis, we are transforming it by uh, through the y. Okay, so we wrongly said 90 degree it is along x axis and then along minus z axis 30 degree. Now, along y degree 30 degree we are transforming and then we give a fixed transformation of 4, so probably we make it 5 and side we scale it by 2. So, there are uh, 5 light sources as stated. So, now we have only one light source that is at center. Okay, so we can enable it, there is no harm in it. So, one light source is in minus z. Okay, I believe this is ring. Ring will enable it. Okay, yeah. So, light sources are enabled. One is in uh, z minus z, x and minus x. Now, we have enabled the and we can add this electron to it. So, electron is kind of uh, uh, 30 degree along x axis that we have rotated. So, we can try. Okay. We really have an electron. Okay. And it is receiving light from all directions. From center, it is receiving maximum light. Okay, so what is the status? So we have seven shapes. So this is Mr. Electron, red color. And can you see the lighting model? It is receiving maximum light from the center. And all around also it is receiving light. But we can see that it is glowing more towards the center. Probably you can see. Increase the size little bit of the electron. So we can make it scalable as 3. This will be dusty. Okay, so 7 and then on local axis we are rotating. And this is the electron is seeing maximum light from the center. Okay, we will see the axis of the electron. Okay, so moon children axis. Okay, so now we can see the local axis of the electron. It is visible, now clear cut. Okay. So, electron has its own local axis and that is blue, uh, blue, red and green. Okay. It is more clear now. So, electron has its own, uh, its own local axis. So, one is the full local axis, full global axis and one is local axis of the electron. So, electron is kind of little bit tilted. We can see that Y is kind of, I think it is parallel, but whereas blue and red are not parallel. So, it is 30 degree. We have rotated uh, along the Y. So, and then X and Z are tilted. Now, we will rotate along the Z axis. So, where are you, Mr. Electron? It is 620. Okay. It is rotating. Okay. So, we can 
rotate kind of anything along any arbitrary axis. Can you see this? Okay. What the electron is doing is it has its local coordinate, and in the local coordinate, uh, first it uh, shifts 30 degree and then along y axis rotation and then along z axis okay then it is translating itself and then along z axis it is rotating so electron is rotating around this place I mean wonderful. So now we can add more electrons. So I'll add rings so that we can see the electron. So I'll add one more. Now I have a ring and that is 60 degree along x axis first 90 degree. Okay. And then 60 degree along minus z axis. Okay. Or Probably we can make a little link. That should be okay. And then another one, uh, we are adding the move. And we are not adding any axis now. And we are transforming 60 degrees. And here we can make it 5. Here also so, uh, we can make it 1 dot. Means whatever we are using the software behind the scene, we are not changing anything. So we have kind of a, a full fledged software uh, in drawing the kind of uh, open game. So it's only one class that is shader. That's it. And it's a very small file. Okay. There is nothing. One new required is we have to place the uh, transformation that's it so like this there can be hundreds of files separately for separate diagram and now we are scaling so as per fundamental we will scale 0.3 and okay coloring same we are giving it red or maybe to differentiate we can make it yellow but I don't think in reality, that would be this. Okay, so we have eight now. Now, can we see there is a yellow, a yellow color electron? We have not drawn the local axis for the yellow. Okay, what is the comb for the yellow? It is seven to one. So, 7. Now, yellow would rotate on its own axis. Okay. Where at red would rotate on its own axis. Okay. If it is not very clear, then we can bring it complete down. Okay. And the good thing about this is only we can rotate okay so Anyone would be looking for this diagram. Okay, probably I can just, if it is possible, then this is Linux main. Okay, so auto hide the panel. So 
or we can make it also red so we can eat better okay so this is the scenario now uh, we can make anywhere they are rotating on its own and this is okay. it is receiving light from the center and all other four lights it is also receiving Okay, so same way we can make red electron move in its own axis. Okay, so pretty well, this is what I feel. Okay, so we will add few more. I believe that it is big. So idea is that we can make it smaller. And so we will kind of um, but we'll make the ring smaller. So we don't need a scaling in the ring. So it is easy now. So and here in the moon also we will make it four only because it is crossing the kind of zone and here we will make it four. So four and that point three will just leave it as it is. Okay now we will add two more so we will finalize it. And two moon will add. I mean two electron will add. Okay. Size will change to three. Okay, so we will try. So it is smaller now and it is visible. So how many are? There are 10. Okay, so this is how it is. So electrons we can see and one electron is yellow in color and we can choose any electron and we can just rotate it along its own axis. Okay, so at runtime we can remove everything. So with this software, uh, everything is possible. Okay, so this is something historic diagram of electrons, where we can see that all are rotating in its own axis. are rotating in same axis. Okay, so Okay, so two are not supposed to rotate on the same axis, what mistake we have done. Okay, there should be four rings, one at 30 degree, one at 60, one at minus 30 and one at 50, 150. Okay, so 150 and minus 30 are constant. 
outside it. This is what we can see. So what we will do is kind of we will make it as 120. Okay. So this should not coincide. 30 or we will make it in kind of 90. 120. Okay, so that should be okay. And in the moon, we will make like 30, 60, 90, and 120. So they should not collide. Okay, so there are four. Okay, so this is what we want. Probably. Okay, so all four are on different axes that we can see. Now we will try. Okay. Okay, I believe we can add 30 up to 120 and 150, 180 uh, we can add one more, I think that should be enough. Okay, and then we will bind up, so we will add 150 is coinciding with 30, this is what we are seeing. So 180 should not coincide with anyone. And we have one more electron and it is 180. Okay, so this is kind of This is really, really a kind of uh, uh, a nucleus and then around the nucleus we have electrons. So uh, we can remove kind of uh, whatever we don't want. Okay. So in the 6 we have one axis so that we can remove. And in the zero, zero we can remove. Okay, one axis is at okay, so that is not a child of the one nucleus. And then ring. Okay, so that is global. Okay, so we'll remove Mr. Global. So it went away. Okay, like that, uh, uh, we can remove uh, all the uh, rings if you want. So So in this software everything is available. Means it's like very small software and okay. 
know this is the natural okay so this is natural this is how actually it rotates without any lining actual electron moment. Okay. This is how the electrons are. Okay, so we can let anyone move. No? Okay, so this is how the kind of uh, electronic structure. This is power of open DL and power of mathematics. solar system so this is sun now 
if I kind of zoom out, then we can clearly see earth and other side of earth is dark. Okay. And earth rotates around the sun. Taking the moon along with it. So this is the solar system. We can see the lighting. Okay, so now we will kind of uh, will focus on earth and moon. Okay, so earth is receiving light from sun and moon is also receiving light from the sun. Okay, so both are receiving light from the sun. Now, if I take out the lighting from the moon, okay, so moon rotates around earth on an axis, okay, so there is an axis on which it rotates. Now axis is a little bit clear and we can see that moon rotates on its kind of on its axis around the earth. Okay, so Okay, so moon rotates on its uh, around earth. Now if I kind of uh, disable the lighting on the moon. Okay, so anyone on earth can see the one part of the moon. Okay, like uh, if I say earth rotates on its own axis, if I say a person, okay, and he is kind of seeing the moon, so anyway this person is like, like it is noon for him, but anyway, okay, so Okay, so if I just uh, uh, remove the lighting on the moon and rotate the moon, you can see that other side of the moon can never be seen on the earth. Okay, so other side of the moon can never be seen on the earth. Okay, so people on earth, they see only the kind of uh, valley and mountain, but the craters that is on other side of the moon, that is never visible. If we, if we talk about uh, Number of days it takes to rotate around the earth. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So fourteen days it takes to go around. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven. So it takes twenty-eight days to 
revolve around the earth so in 28 days it is back to uh, its original uh, position moon shifts its position around the earth okay so we can see now that uh, red color is a man who is standing on a kind of uh, earth so earth has its local movement around the sun okay uh, around its own axis so earth moves on its own axis whereas uh, uh we have seen that the moon does not rotate on its own axis now a person who person is standing on earth okay so like it is evening for him and this is midnight this is morning and this is noon he is facing the sun on his head and this is evening okay now when it is evening then how he is uh, seeing the kind of uh, okay now a person it he is seeing uh, so this is the evening for the person and he is able to see full moon so this is a kind of uh, situation of uh, full moon okay so i can kind of uh, take out the lighting on the moon okay so this is a uh, full moon he is able to see in night now when earth rotates he is able to see the full moon midnight till morning he is able to see the full moon okay now there is no moon now moon shifts its position one day so i can re enable the lighting on the moon now it is evening again and person is not able to see the moon the way he saw the full moon in the evening so this is kind of uh, day after the full moon so same position he is not able to see the moon now it shifts one position and he is able to see the moon okay now he will see the moon even after the morning because moon shifted one position okay now moon shifts one more position next day now as usual he cannot see the moon now probably now he can see the moon okay so this way what he can see probably we will try to see okay so what person is able to see how much he is able to see whatever we are seeing now this much he is able to see okay
Okay, so this much he is able to see. Now, suppose that uh, moon uh, shifts its position again. So this is probably second day. Now, third day, fourth day, fifth day, sixth day, seventh day. Now, moon entered into seventh day. Person cannot see in the position where he is standing on the seventh day. So, now probably at the midnight uh, he is able to see the moon. What he is able to see the moon? He is able to see half of the moon. Can we see? Okay. Because half of the moon is lighted now. Half of the moon is dark. So, he cannot see. But moon is there. I can take out the light in the moon. Moon is there. But due to earth rotation, the way it happens, so, he, now it is midnight and he cannot see the half portion of the moon because light is falling on the moon. The way it has shifted its position, only half it can see. Okay. Now, okay. So, now moon is rotating more. Now, what that person will see the moon, uh, that will see. Okay, so earth is rotating. Now person is kind of position of evening. Okay, so very slight he can see the moon. I mean, Okay, so there should be gap. So slight he can see the moon. Now I will shift the moon more. Now person can see the this much moon. So this is probably the third or fourth day he can see. Okay, so this is probably fourth or fifth day. This is what he can see. Okay, uh, we were missing this. So I will try to show this. What a person would see in the morning in the evening okay so person would be able to see kind of uh, we can see like uh, the moon how much he can see so there is a little light that he can see okay so this is condition kind of uh, first day or second day Okay, so this much light, slight light that we can see uh, moon's edge. So this much is like first day, second day of the moon. Now if earth rotates, then that is also gone. Okay, now in the, this is daytime and this is evening time. Now if earth moves, if moon moves more, can we see now it is able to see more moon? More? 
more, more. If I rotate this, he is able to see this much. So this is a kind of a half moon. That person is able to see this much half moon. Means I can kind of take out the lighting from the moon. Okay, so this is actual moon, but he is able to see the half moon. Okay, and probably after the midnight, he won't be able to see the moon at all. Okay, so now the same way moon would move. And the way earth rotates, so person is able to see full moon. So, person is able to see full moon again. Okay. Now, if earth rotates, full moon, full night, it, he is able to see the moon. And so, this is how it happens. Okay. Uh, we will show kind of uh, no moon when moon is not there now moon is coming exactly between sun and earth now person cannot see the moon at all. It's full dark. Okay. So, person cannot see the moon. I can rotate moon little bit. Okay. So, person cannot see the moon at all from any angle if I take light is there on the moon okay but person is behind <laughs> behind the light so moon is there but person cannot see the moon okay so this is kind of uh, no moon night And the way moon rotates, now if this is the condition, so what person is able to see? Okay. He is able to see kind of uh, half of the moon. We can see. Okay, so this is how kind of uh, moon rotates around earth and a person who are standing on the earth, they are able to see part of the moon day by day, whereas moon is receiving uh, full light. Okay, one thing, second thing now if we see the kind of uh, So these technologies are possible only because of OpenGL.
Okay, so now if moon rotates, now I'll disable the lighting on the moon. Okay. So other side of the moon is not visible, but can we see like light falling on the moon? Okay, moon is receiving complete light on one side of the surface, but if moon is rotating, moon is receiving full light. Okay, moon is receiving full light. but on other side of the moon not the side what uh, people are seeing the moon so moon is receiving sunlight all over okay so like earth it receives light only half of the uh, its uh, uh, its surface at one time but the way it rotates around the earth it is able to kind of uh, receive light all over All over. Okay, so not only that, Earth Okay. So, not only that, Earth rotates around the Sun, taking the Moon. Okay. Okay, so we will proceed on solar system. So, we have kind of uh, Mars now. Okay, so this is a kind of uh, solar system and we have uh, earth and moon that is visible and if we see right then the distance between the sun and earth almost equal distance there is another planet in the sky that is also known as red planet that is Mars okay. and it is really red okay and if we want to see okay so it's north and south both has icebergs okay so mars has a two natural satellites like I mean there are two moons okay. 
okay one moon is uh, uh, near to the mars and its name is phobos and it is not uh, circle the way we are showing okay it is kind of little irregular in shape and another is deimos and that is little far so two two uh, natural satellites mars has okay so mars rotates on its own axis the way earth rotates mars is also tilted like earth earth is tilted earth is tilted uh, around 23 degree whereas mars is tilted 25 degree okay so mars makes rotation on its own axis and it takes about 26. Point, uh, 24.6 hours so uh, it is called one sols okay so that is 24.6 hours and mars also rotates around sun okay so mars has its own axis around sun and it rotates around the sun on its tilted angle okay so taking taking its two natural satellites two moons it rotates rotates uh, around sun okay so these are the kind of uh, uh, feature of mars okay so uh, so phobos rotates its on its own axis and whereas deimos rotates on its own axis okay now uh, let's see what happens in the sky means a person kind of standing on the earth obviously person will stand on earth okay, so we can remove this guys
Okay, so what will happen if a person standing on earth and suppose the red spot is person standing on earth and what it sees how it sees a kind of mars okay so mars also make kind of rotation around sun okay what we have seen a uh, kind of uh, venus and mercury since they are near to sun then earth a person standing on earth he never sees uh, venus and mercury they coming on their head okay but mars comes on its head person standing on red spot we can see and mars comes on its head okay so if it is kind of uh, evening then it appears like uh, from uh, east to west something passes and then now it can be seen early morning and then full day it can be seen means it is not cannot be seen through naked eye but this is how it is then in evening it will start seeing from east and it will travel to uh, to the okay so uh, this is the kind of uh, story of uh, uh, mars okay we can little bit lighten it there is no harm in it so earth is visible and mars is also Okay, so this is how Mars moves, and and it appears coming from east, going towards west, and then in morning it can be seen. Then full day it can be seen. then again so it's make round around the sun kind of 687 earth days otherwise if it rotates on its own axis then 660 uh, 60 666 around uh, those many uh, sols it takes okay so it has already always been in discussion that how big the solar system is so we'll see how big the solar system is okay so this is kind of uh, mr sun and i'll measure kind of how big what we are doing
so two times if i press my key then it is the kind of so one time is the radius of the sol sun two times it is around diameter of the uh, sun so if two time is the diameter of the sun then earth is located at 200 times so if i press 1 and 2 and then it is the kind of uh, size of the sun two times is the size of the sun so whatever the diameter of the sun earth is located 100 times away from the diameter of the sun okay so and mercury is around uh, i believe around uh, 30 times and 60 times would be a uh, venus and then earth so i'll press 30 times 1 2 3 4 5 6 okay so mr mercury is not visible i keep on pressing if i can see any any planet Okay, one planet we can see after so many presses. Uh, okay, so this is around, I believe, uh, 60 times uh, far away than the diameter of, uh, if I press 60, 120 times. So, two times I press, then I uh, get to the diameter of uh, sun. Then 120 I press, then I get around 60 times the diameter of the sun. And after 60 times, means 120 times I press the key. Then this big is one planet, I don't know which it is. So I am zooming it. Okay, so I am zooming it very correctly. This is Venus. So mercury gone, we couldn't identify the mercury and this is Venus. Okay, so this big solar system, I mean I can try again <laughs> because I don't have guts to kind of, okay. So One time is radius, two time is diameter around. So, six, 120 times if I press, okay, then I would reach kind of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay. Somewhere here, there should be mercury. So, we can try zooming it. If we are lucky, we will get something. Oh, it's there. I uh, tried uh, 60 times
दिस इज मर्क्री ओके सो मर्करी इज अवे फ्रॉम सन अराउंड काइंड ऑफ थर्टी टाइम्स मोर देन इट्स डायमीटर and 60 times around that is uh, venus and around 100 <laughs> times that is earth okay so this is the situation okay so we'll try for earth that's it so that much kind of patience i have so the, for that i need to press 200 times i have pressed 60 times i have pressed 120 times now we can see uh venus is passing okay we can see earth so this big is earth in front of sun and this far it i can zoom in okay so i am zooming continuously okay so this is kind of mr earth and mr earth <laughs> moon okay so we scale that well that kind of it looks and uh, that much uh, near okay so this is how they are that big i can try bringing everything in one frame probably i'll translate it to kind of Two hundred times, so probably minus two thousand minus. I don't know it will appear or not. Minus four thousand. How big it is? Okay, so we can see uh, sun in this fashion. okay so i'll make earth equal to size of sun so we can identify earth okay so earth is now size of the sun can we see in same frame okay so sun we can see we can see earth in the same frame okay so uh, if i reduce the size of uh, earth to its so 100 times i have to reduce the size of the earth 
then I can see the earth. But so, Venus is same size of the earth. So, Venus is not visible. If sun is this big, then Venus and here, Mercury, they are not visible at all. If I bring sun and earth in kind of same plane, and I cannot zoom it, means it will go somewhere. Okay. So, now if I zoom the uh, sun to a little bigger, Okay, probably through programming way we can make it bigger. So instead of 2000, I will make it kind of some 600. Okay, so we can see sun this big. If sun is this big, then earth is here, this far, as per their sizes. It is 100 times bigger than the, uh, the distance is like this. Okay, so in between Venus and Mercury are in their original sizes that we can never see. So somewhere if I start zooming it, considering I can see uh, Venus, so I am zooming it in a hope that we can see Venus. Okay, so I keep on pressing uh, to zoom it. Okay, so not possible. So we'll bring it more. So 600, I'll make it kind of 200. Okay, so if this is sun this big, then as per the size of sun, earth is so this far. So still Venus and Mercury, I am bringing the sun now, not with it. If sun is this big, then Venus and Mercury still they are not visible. 